Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Owen, I'm with iFi UK, but today I'm in New York City. I'm going to introduce the long-awaited IDSD Pro. So let's begin. The first button here is the power on and off. The second button here serves three purposes. The first purpose is to select the input that you need, like so. The second is to change the brightness, like this, of the screen. And third, if you push it in, it will actually change the polarity of the track. The second input also serves three purposes. The first purpose here is to select between five different filters. It can also upsample to DSD 512 or 1024. And the third purpose, if you push it in and hold down, it will actually pair up to your router via WPS. The third button is our classic solid state or tube state selection. Just select which one you want. In the center, we have the OLED LCD screen, which once you select your input, it will display all the information relevant to what you are hearing. On this section, this is the amplifying section for your headphones. It has 6.3, it has single-ended 3.5 mil, and it also has balanced 2.5 mil as well. Just select which headphone and connect up. Over here, we have the analog volume control. And at the bottom here, we also have the infrared, which the remote control will control the volume or the brightness of the LCD screen. At the top, we have the glass screen up here, so you can see the tube in action and it will glow a nice orange. At the rear of the machine, we have two types of outputs. We have the balanced XLRs, and we also have single-ended. So just connect to whichever your amplifier is able to take. Over here, we have the output mode. So depending if this is in a hi-fi system or a pro audio system, you can actually use as a preamplifier or just a passive DAC. Now with the digital inputs. Here we have the internet, so we can hook it up to a network. We also have a USB type A, and we also have a micro SD card. So all you do is hook up your external hard drives or preload your music onto the SD card, hook it up into the machine, connect it to your network, and then this one will read and actually send back that music to your application and you're able to listen to it like this. We have USB inputs, and we also have coax and optical shared in the same port. It also has XLR inputs digitally and also BNC. On this side here, you can see it has two BNC connectors. This machine will allow you to hook up an external clock and it will clock inside here and also clock outwards as well. Over here, we have the DC loop. If you own the iCam Pro, you can hook this one up and it will feed the same power supply into the next Pro machine. With regards to the headphone amplifier, it has four watts of power. The machine is fully galvanic isolated on all inputs, not just the USB. So what makes the IDSD so special? Well, first of all, it's been four years in the making and we're finally proud to bring it out. But it has an FPGA system, which allows upsampling to DSD 1024 and DSD 512. It can also do PCM upsampling up to 768. Also, it comes with the selection to do solid state or tube state, making this machine fully versatile for your needs. 